Hey, what's up, gamers? And Fortune 5150 here, and we're gonna do something quick and simple today, which is just setting up macros for Hell Divers 2. Um, it works for any other game as well. So, uh, but this is uh, gonna be done on the Razor Black Widow. You do need to have Razor Synapse uh, to do this. So, if you don't have it already, go ahead and download it from their website. Uh, once you have Synapse open, uh, you'll be able to install the module uh, macro if you don't have it down here you just have to go to modules here and you should see the icon and you should be able to install and then it will restart your synapse now to get on to the actual macros you can see that i have a few set up here um the main ones i just that i use like all the time my reinforcing so like a lot of the things that you use in the hell divers you'll be able to just quickly hit the button and then your uh resupply your reinforce everything is nice and quick anyway let's go on into the macros once you have the macro thing installed uh from the modules you should have this tab up here which is macro and now you'll be able to see that i have all these ones set up and now i will go ahead and add a link to this profile so you can import the uh, macros yourself so if you're lazier than i am you can just <laughs> go ahead and uh uh, import them to your uh, synapse and have these ones already set up for you uh, except for the one that we're gonna set up now so the one that we don't have set up I think is to not resupply but you can go to uh, helldivers.fandom.com and find all the different ones that you would use and I think the one we want to set up is the SOS beacon that's the one I haven't done yet I clicked on it before um, but yeah, it's a simple one to set up. So we want to go ahead and set up a new macro. Now, all you have to do is go up here and click the plus button and then click on it. You can rename it to what you want. Now you'll see that I have like one, two, and then whatever the key is. And then down here, it's just normal. I just have it set up that way because it always goes in uh, alphabetical order, starting with numbers and then letters. Uh, and I want all these ones to be down there. So. This one, we're going to probably set up as my number nine. I think that's the one I don't have. Well, let's see, Napalm and then EMS. Uh, yeah, so nine is the one we don't have. So we're just going to put it up as number nine. And then this one is the SOS. So we don't really need one for it, but for the sake of this, I just want to go ahead and create it. So once you have the, uh, the name of it, you'll see it has zero bind and everything. You don't have a recording yet. Now, if you record your macro, you can go ahead and let's see, what was the uh, resupply or not resupply, SOS beacon again. Let me look at my other screen here. So it's up, down, right, up. So if I if I go and record it, it'll give it a few seconds to record in and we'll go ahead and do the up, down, right, up. And now you'll see that it has different uh, timings. So it's recording the time that it takes me to actually press it. And we're gonna go ahead and fix that. All right, so one thing I wanted to mention is that you'll see that it has up twice and down twice and right twice, even though I just hit it once. Just remember it's doing the down motion and the up motion of the key, so you don't have to worry about that. I also need to also mention, if you're using my key binds and you have it set up as uh, hold the control button, you want to make sure that's set to press because this is set up for press and it's not gonna work without it. Anyways, so that we can change the timing here, we're gonna go ahead and put the delay in at 0 0.05. That's how I have all mine set up. And now when I record this macro, we can have the, the up, down, right, up. And now we now we have it there. But I did forget to put in the, sh the control. So let's go ahead and remove that real quick. And there we go. And then we we'll record it again. We wanna make sure we hit our control. And then the uh, SOS beacon is up, down, right, up. Now it's going to go ahead and set all those as the macro. Now we need to actually bind it to a key. And we will just go ahead and hit the plus over here on the far right and select your keyboard. It should work for any Razer keyboard that is programmable anyway. And you see, I don't have it as nine, anything on nine here. So we'll just go ahead and click that, save. And that should be it. And now we can look at the one that we just set up. See, number nine, SOS, all set up, good to go. And you'll see I have all of them set up that and it's for the press control. If you're using 
like hold or something like that for your uh, stratagems, this isn't going to work for you. You'll have to set it up uh, manually, uh, however you want to set it up. But those should work pretty well. Um, the reason why you, you kind of want to use these, it's kind of a cheat in a way, but it's not because it's just macros and, you know, just, you know, automating what we already you would do just a lot quicker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it makes things a lot easier if you need to reinforce somebody, if you need to uh, quickly send out, you know, a railgun cannon at something, you know, pretty much anything that you, you have in there, you can go ahead and set this up. All right, so one thing I wanted to also mention, sometimes uh, with Razor Synapse, it, it freaks out. Um, if you have a problem with the profile when you load my profile, um, and it like your keyboard just keeps disconnecting, unfortunately what you'll have to do is actually have it imported and then delete it. Just go, go here and then go ahead and delete. You can also, this is how you import my uh, profile, um, but you can just go ahead and you delete it here and then once it's once it's uh, deleted, you create a new profile. You just go ahead and add one. And it'll add a default, and then you'll just have to go through all your all the macros will still be there. You'll have to just go through each one and then go ahead select it and se select whichever one you want to do. And it's just a bug with uh, Synapse because yeah, they're just terrible sometimes. All right, so uh, the one thing that I also like to recommend doing is having a little cheat sheet because if you forget which ones they are, it is such a pain to figure out. I always have this sitting up on my second screen, so I have, you know, I know which ones I want to use. I'll include that in the link below so that you can actually use that as well if you want to. But obviously, you probably will set up your own key bindings and uh, set your own, and maybe your memory is better than mine. So <laughs> uh, that it it helps. So if you go ahead and use the link below, just give me a like or a subscribe. Definitely helps out the channel and everything so I can do more videos just like this and the gameplay videos that I do. Anyway, I wanna thank everybody for watching this video today. Make sure you hit the like button, definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming. Hey, you're still there watching? You should definitely hit that subscribe button because, you know, I very much appreciate it. As much as I appreciate you watching this video all the way through past the outro and then seeing this. <laughs>